So guys, it's January, and I'm sure we have at least one New Year's resolution in common, and that is to really be more productive this year. The iPad Pro or any other iPad can be a real time sink, depending on the apps you install, of course. Well, I can assure you that the apps in today's list will turn your iPad into a productivity machine. Let's ramble. Hold up. Hey, what's up, guys? It's great to see you all again. And if you're new here, I'm Patrick, and this is where I ramble about tech and other stuff. So like I said in the intro, the iPad can be many things. It can be an absolute time sink if we use it for content consumption, for gaming, social media, etc. And it's a lot of fun. But of course, that doesn't help when you're trying to be productive. I like to think of myself as a fairly productive person, but just like everybody else, every January, I set out to be more productive than I've ever been been this year. So I'm going to show you 10 of my all time favorite apps that help me be more productive on a daily basis. Now, if you've been to this channel before, some of these apps will be new to you and some of these apps you'll have seen before. And that is simply because they're all still staples in my productivity workflow and therefore they need to be on this list. And if you are new to the channel, grab a notepad because every single one of these apps is worth downloading. But before we get into my list of downloadable apps, I really want to give an honorable mention to an app you already have installed on your device, and that is Apple Notes. Notes has come a long way since I first started using it. Of course, there is the super useful Quick Notes feature now, where you can just swipe in a note from the bottom corner of your screen. The Apple Pencil works really well with Notes, but what has really impressed me the most lately is AI search. You can literally type in cat and it will find you that picture you once added from a cat. No words, no tags needed. And of course, the same goes for text. It will find whatever you're looking for based on some keywords in the text. And that actually makes Apple Notes rival one of my all time favorites in some ways. And I'll get back to that later on in the video and tell you which app that is. Before we continue with some more fantastic productivity apps, I want to take a minute to thank the sponsor of today's video, Raid Shadow Legends. Use my link below to download Raid yourself to your mobile phone or computer. A very important part of being truly productive is allowing yourself some time to unwind. One of the best ways to get your mind completely off your work is playing a really good immersive game. And Raid is exactly that. And this month, Raid just introduced the biggest, baddest boss of all, the Hydra. This thing is a beast, literally. It's got multiple different heads, well, it's a Hydra, but each head has its own mechanics. It can share the pain and push damage from itself onto your team. It can scare your champions, rot them from the inside, cloak itself in a cloud of poison, and a ton more crazy things. This thing is definitely one of the toughest fights in the game, but it's absolutely worth it because it can get you some of the best artifacts around. What I like about this game is that it's constantly evolving. For example, there's a ton happening in Raid this month. They're releasing a bunch of awesome new champions along with a brand new Faction War script for one of the baddest factions, the Shadow Kid. Can't wait to see what that's all about. On top of that, there's a lot of New Year events and tournaments, including a special fusion event where you can get one of Raid's newest legendary champions. This is the best time to get started in Raid. Check my link in the description or scan the QR code on the screen. You'll get 200k silver, one energy refill, one XP boost, and one ancient shard. And there is a mysterious champion. I can't tell you who it is, but trust me, they're awesome. All that treasure will be waiting for you right here. The rewards will only be available for the next 30 days and only for new players, so be quick. Right, back to being productive. The first app on my list is one that I feel you will probably all know by now, but I can't in good conscience give you a list of best productivity apps and not at least mention Notion. It is such an amazing and versatile app. I use it for most of my planning and organizing, like planning my YouTube videos, my daily business, as well as planning my workouts. Notion's major selling point is its high customization. You can build your dashboard however you want. It's basically one giant database. Unfortunately, that is also what puts a lot of people off from giving the app a try because there is definitely a learning curve. But once you get the hang of it, it is like no other app. But no app is perfect and there are definitely some things lacking in Notion, which is why I still haven't been able to fully let go of my oldest OG productivity app, Evernote. Notion is great for organizing and planning, but Evernote really is still my external brain. One of the major missing features in Notion is that you can't email stuff straight into Notion. I get a ton of emails both from my daytime business and YouTube, and there's nothing more convenient than to just be able to send it straight into Evernote from where you can do with it whatever you want, like turn it into a to-do, set reminders, etc. 
When you open an account with Evernote, you get a free Evernote email address, which you can even customize. And this is where you send all of your stuff, which will then appear directly in your Evernote inbox. Another killer feature for me is scanning documents directly into Evernote. I don't like keeping big stacks of paper around my office, so my favorite thing to do is to scan everything I get into my little Fujitsu scan snap over here, which has a cloud scanning option, and I can scan directly to my Evernote. This thing is crazy fast. It eats through a big stack of papers in no time, and it has these special slots for receipts and business cards, which Evernote, using its AI, will organize for you. Super useful feature. Of course, you can do this also with a free scanner app on your phone, but if you get a lot of paperwork, this scanner is the bomb. I'll put a link in the description in case you wanna check it out. It's not sponsored by the way, I just really like it. In terms of handwritten notes, I don't think there is a better app than Notability. I mean, there are lots of alternative note-taking apps, but what I really like about this one is that it can record while you take notes. And then when you revisit those notes and you tap on a certain part of your scribbles, you will hear what was being said when you wrote that. And that, of course, can be extremely useful for lectures or business meetings. It allows me to basically write only bullet points, and later on, I can listen to the context behind that bullet point. This way, I can be way more present during my meetings instead of just trying to keep up writing everything down. For more creative work, I like to use Milanote. Now, Milanote has been optimized for iPhone, but not for the iPad yet. The developers are working on an iPad app, but I'm still mentioning it here because the web app is actually pretty good and it works perfectly on the iPad. This app has a lot of features, but personally, I mostly use it as a mood board. Whenever I'm thinking of a potential Instagram post or a YouTube thumbnail, things like that, I collect ideas, images, little snippets, and toss them all onto my mood board. And from there, I can further organize it, I can add some to-dos, and technically I could do this in Evernote as well, but the user interface of Milanote is so smooth and so intuitive that I really prefer to use this app for my creative stuff. There's of course way more this app can do, so let me know in the comments if you'd like to see like a deep dive into the app. Oh, and if you're not subscribed to the channel and you like this type of content, now would be a good time. I upload every week, sometimes more, so plenty of fresh content coming your way. The next app is fantastic for brainstorming. I usually brainstorm by myself, which is kind of sad, but anyway, sometimes I have a ton of ideas or plans, but no structure. Mind mapping is an excellent way of organizing your thoughts and creating a visual overview of those thoughts. What starts with a bunch of ideas ends up looking like an actual plan. I love using it on the iPad mini because I carry it with me most of the time, and it's so easy to start a quick mind node Everything feels super intuitive and there's virtually no learning curve. Next up is Pocket. This app has been around for a long time and there is a good reason for it. It just works. The user interface still looks fresh and it feels super nice to use. Basically, this is where I dump all the articles I come across that I wanna read, but I don't necessarily have the time to read straight away. All you need to do is just save it to Pocket and you can rely on the article being there for you when you do find a moment to read it. Super useful, oldie, but goodie. And guys, I cannot finish this list without talking about one of my most used apps, and that is Just Press Record. The way I see it is that a productivity app is only a true productivity app if you use it all the time and it makes your life easier and more efficient. Just Press Record is a very simple yet effective app that I have installed on my iPad, my Apple Watch, and my Mac. It's literally a big red button that does just one thing, record. Whenever I have an idea or a thought worth recording, I just do it. And because it's on all my devices, there is never a reason why I couldn't record. What it does then is it takes the voice recording, syncs it to all my devices, and transcribes it, so I barely even have to do any typing if I do wanna work with that recording. Superb little app, and the best part, it's free. Guys, I hope this video was useful to you. If it was, please give it one of these. It really does make a difference. Subscribe for more content. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.